Maybe, if, before we move on to other things, can we just like rehash everybody kind of stuff to do with what we've already gone over tonight, maybe? Like kind of what we plan on, like kind of do, working on this week. Uh, we're going to create a list um, of Democrats, Republicans, national and statewide and citywide who are definitely not aligned with us and are actively pursuing and working. Huh? It has to be the shit list. It has to, it has to be its official name. I did want to repeat it again. It's like me on camera saying this like 15 times. Okay, shit there's going list, to be a shit, shit list. list. <laughs> and um, basically people who are definitely not on page with us and who are actively pursuing to break down arguments and turn, um, make the city look better than us, essentially. Yeah. So we need to start really framing um, contradictions to that to really reinforce that we're right. And then um, we talked about making a really strong Google Calendar of keeping up to date of people who are getting in touch with us for interviews so that we don't get behind on interviewing and um, prioritizing um, who we're going to get in touch with first and really coming to the group with, you know, agendas on that. And then we talked about... Tea Party versus Occupy, that's a public, is, that a po is that a possible public interest issue? Is that being done for spectacle or potential conflict? Um, are we going to put out a message of partial solidarity with the Tea Party? And if we do that, are we going to take that statement to the GA and read it? Is it a press release as response to the Tea Party audit? Will we put this on Wiki for a collaborative effort? I'll make a page right now. Well, as far as the audit, they are auditing over 700 other businesses that have failed to file specific paperwork, or so their argument is. That's what the city says, correct? Yes. Um, which, I mean, I'm, I know it's not the most popular place to say this, but I will give the city the benefit of the doubt until I have evidence that suggests otherwise. I don't think, you know, raising a tiff over $10,000 is going to they're, the receivers want to risk that kind of PR over you know, something that is trivial as that. Um, so personally, I, I believe the city when it's just they say it's just bad time. I think it's a good point, Will, and I think it's something we should take in consideration as we make this press release. But I also think we should take consideration that this um, audit has already been framed by other media networks against us. Um, in terms of city favoring us over the Tea Party, and and also the taxpayer argument, which is really going to really turn some uh, people's heads, um, especially Republican voters and conservative voters, because the tax-paying uh, drama has, has been unfolding, um, crosses a lot of cultural issues, not just that of Occupy. <coughs> so, um, well, because and that also fits in with the narrative that they're already using, or, you know, we're just a bunch of unemployed people looking for uh, handouts. I could use about ten bucks. So and then we also went over uh, Facebook as a tool, Twitter as a tool, website as a tool. What we what that means to us, um, and strategies for Facebook to control the message a bit. Are we going to drown out negative comments? Are we going to create a blacklist of words or sentences that we do not? think are apropos for our ethics, right? Um, also, how do we control false information? Will mentioned, like, how are we going to, are we going to just take off false information off the posts? And all of this is going to tie into how we create a policy um, to engage messaging policy. And we can, work, we can move on now. That's all we went over. I have a new question. Yeah. Um, in Facebook, there are hidden posts. What are we supposed to do with those? Like, it, it seems like posts are automatically hidden for whatever reason or another. Repeat that again. Do you know what I'm talking about? Bridge actually sent out an email about that uh, a few hours ago. Ago, something about the default is that the posts are hidden, or I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. a lot There's of an them email. Are. I will say that the Facebook is extremely glitchy. And it, it is very temperamental, and if it doesn't, if you don't speak very nicely to it, it will mm -hmm. do something you have no idea what the heck. Yeah. Happened. So I've just kind of been going through and unhiding 
things that shouldn't really be hidden. That's strange. And when they're hidden, nobody gets to see them? Right. right. Only we get to see them. Only Edmonds get to see them. Oh, only Edmonds. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't know why some things get hidden, some things mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. Like someone's posting a link um, about like some article or something. Um, there might be some spam filter issue with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that that's the only thing I could think of to explain yeah. why. I mean, because the, I mean, essentially the wall is getting spammed out anyway, just right. with political stuff. Um, so I'm not surprised that if there is a, a spam filter, mm -hmm. a good amount of that stuff is getting caught. Because right. people are mass posting web pages and articles on, on that, that page. Like, um, for the most part, I I think that's good. People mm -hmm. can have a place to share. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But the, a spam filter is not yeah. like that. Yeah. But, like, there was one... It's like where a t-shirt company that's selling Occupy shirts to benefit <laughs> Occupy, and I'm just like, mm, I don't know if I want to approve that one. And there's one about this guy who's running for Congress, and like, maybe I shouldn't approve that one either. <laughs> so, I well, like, again, though, as the new, but I'm wondering if there's like a policy for... No. As of now, anyway, the... Uh you know, there's been one, one essentially one, dis two discussions about this. There was one at one GA, and now the one that was here tonight. And so there is no policy. Okay. We have not uh, sussed out a policy of any kind. Although we have, in fact, created, uh, we've had a very, I think, very constructive dialogue tonight already mm -hmm. about strategies that might turn into that policy. And I can go ahead and start on the blacklist right now if y'all want me to. Do you, do you all think that's a good idea? Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Don't even want to write some of those things. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys want to move on to maybe um, on the agenda the OcuPhone? Um. Yeah, I was hoping that uh, Josh. Yeah, I was hoping Josh could be here. Oh uh, yeah, he's he said that he had something else. I think yeah, the, he had the communications group meeting, which I say again, is there's something ironic about the communications group meeting at the same time as the <laughs> as a, as a media group. Well, it's it's a nationwide thing. Oh, uh, it is. It's the correspondence. Yeah, it's a conference right? call. Oh, so. uh, I, I thought it was just a the like my Richmond media group. Um, throw bad words at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Can I write them on paper? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the list you're creating? Mm -hmm. Like okay. words that are just automatically filtered. Oh, I can have fun with that. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll save the ones I just found. <laughs> See how creative we can get. <laughs> See, now we're all comfortable to save them. Um, I think definitely like a faggot cunt, um, uh, <laughs> stuff like that. I don't see you the, uh, you know probably word, even do you know the word cunt in originality is a Filipino word for admiration of the women's uterus? That's awesome. Well, not in America. <laughs> <laughs> not in America. <laughs> yeah. You probably even Google, Google a list of words that are offensive. Uh, yeah, Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well I wanted to get creative. <laughs> I think that, you know, I think it's important for sure because maybe it'll just automatically. Because I, I, I mean, there have been some negative messages, right? Like somebody's an asshole or somebody's a. I mean, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to censor I, bad language. Yeah, we don't offensive want to censor language. bad language. I, just I, like yeah. things that are adhere, like just like. Whoa! No, you can't go there. Yeah, <laughs> I think, I, and I think that sh that list is much shorter than the bad words list. Mm -hmm. uh, the bad words list, I'm a big fan of. I love all those words. <laughs> it's the it's the offensive words list that um that needs to not happen. I just think I don't think I know that many words. I worry about those three. But also, if somebody really wants to say something and they can't, they'll just find a way to say it. Well, it's not a camp that we're worried about. There's the Facebook page, right? Or the, yeah. Or Twitter. Oh no. Maybe they're not as creative as I am. Well, spaces between the letters. Mm -hmm. Ira, can you get a ride back? 
I'm reading I'm reading the Google blacklist words yeah. and this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ball kicking. Um <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep follow that. Best Nato, um, hold up, Beaver Cleaver. <laughs> um, <laughs> Big knockers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I recommend y'all take a moment to read this one. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> um, last media meeting, I felt like you really introduced, like you took it upon yourself to introduce us to some things that we would rather not have known about. I thought it, I thought it had to be addressed. There are some things that everybody just needs to know about, and and uh, I could probably Wall Street porn is one of them things. <laughs> that was awesome though. <laughs> Occupy a pool, Steve. Sorry. Alright, anyway. Um. Occupy. Occupy. What ring, are we ring. using that for? What is that for? Nothing sexy about that. Well, aren't we writing, aren't we going to write it on like things going out to the community so they can just call the phone line and yes, I think, get a date? I think Josh has t will take it upon himself to uh, sure that it is done otherwise I'm not sure that any of us will take the time. This is kind of something that we have to worry about. Well it's something that we can give um, for the bus campaign that's going to happen on the day of solidarity like Ron Rogers and Isaac because they're they're really heading outreach right now and they've created a, a framework for that day the day events. If, okay. if they were able to create mass flyers or stickers or something that they could pass people on the bus I mean I mean, it's a hotline, basically. from now on, basically, that phone number is going to be on our flyers and on our websites, and I mean that just like any um, any email address or any um, you know, uh, URL. Um, okay. Should we make an announcement at GA, giving the number to everybody, making sure everybody has it? He he did it last night. Okay. Um, cool. And I can get it from him in a moment. Um, Send it out on the. Group me last night too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can. Um, I think we should at least practice with it a little bit before we start mass getting it out there, just to make sure that we all know how to use it. And we can all use it appropriately and keep up with it before we start advertising that as a go-to place to find information. Um, I think we get ahead of ourselves a lot of times and say that. You know, this is this is a new feature, this is a new thing, and then it never gets used, and people are like, why the heck did I just get totally use this if we're not going to update it? Um, I think it's really, it's really strong people who don't have computers, or um, exactly. or people who are kind of witness participants to the movement, and have missed GAs, and they have no one really to talk to directly and be like, hey, I miss what's going on. Yeah. I mean, the um, number, just give, should give them all. I think Josh said he's going to answer those calls, because it's going through a um, Google Voice, I believe, the number that he set up on his own, um, uh, voicemail and that system, that I'm, I think he's the only one that has to, can access at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I think this is very much on him, but I'm pretty sure at some point it's going to become our problem. Um, <laughs> As to many things, so. Um, okay. So is that all we really want for the Occupone tonight? I mean, does everybody know what the Occupone is? You want the phone number? Yeah, sure. Eight oh four. What's it called? Uh, three nine six. Four nine. Four nine nine seven. I mean, can I call it and put on speaker phone? Oh, but if, did yeah. you say it was just three nine six four nine nine seven? I got it. If you want, I'm going to ask about it after the meeting. 
I don't know about it, but I don't need to know right now because everyone else does. Thanks for calling the Occupy Richmond Occupy Hotline. <laughs> Events for Monday, November 28th include Occupy City Hall, Wednesday, November 29th, Occupy Hall, It's yes. It was for yesterday too. And now they call them so. today, and they're like, "Well, what's going on today?" Mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. um, so it'd be some. You promoting the next GA? What? Is that the song you have? Layla, um, I'm gonna say no. I think she's been out of town. I think she might be. She's she's, 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 she's here today. She was here either. yesterday. I think yeah. I think she's more of an auxiliary. Yeah. 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 Other than, I'm not sure if, what her, if she has any experience in like um, anything other than Facebook. I, I'm not, I don't want to speak for her, but I'm not sure she has all. Yeah. So that's the Occupant. Woohoo! So does anybody know, like, is, is, is Josh bottom lining that? As of right now, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and does it as, be updated every day? Bingo. Yeah, every it should be advertising day. tomorrow's so far, GA. I think. Yeah, exactly. It hasn't been like, updated yet. Something like that needs to be. I feel like it should probably be updated every three days with three days worth of activities in advance, mm -hmm. or else we're just not going to be able to keep up with it. And so mm -hmm. it, all it takes is one person call, and it's two days behind. They're like, well, they don't keep up with this, so why am I calling it? Well, and sometimes they, we don't even know the GA location until, yeah, like you know, two pretty soon. Yeah, what happens. Mm -hmm. Wow. I have a proofreader on the, on the webpage. I'm posting one of uh, Alan's uh, vlogs. It's just lit up in red. Is that it about Occupone? Are we moving on? Uh, well, it's good to... Discuss updating daily or every three days or something. Mm -hmm. um, again, something that I think uh, Josh is spearheading. Um, I, I mean, I, I would like to get his input on the. Uh, on what about the uh, the educational packet? What's the story with that? I put that on there, <coughs> um, and it stems from a conversation Laura and I had the other day. Apparently, there are. Teachers, students, people writing papers about mm -hmm. Occupy. Mm -hmm. There's actually a lot of traction for this movement in academia, if I understand correctly. That makes perfect sense. And so something that could be sort of like a primary source for them to go to mm -hmm. would be really useful. Or this would be different than the press kit, right? It's The press kit is more about like, it's, right. what's the superficial stuff you need to write about? This would be more like, sort of like, I, I mean, I think the way that I described it, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, is kind of like at the beginning of our own history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and giving further contextualization for where our movement fits in American protest history. Okay. Excuse me, no. <laughs> and, um,. Also, just really kind of reinforcing the fact that we are have we have photo galleries, we have an archive because when people are writing up their papers, they're yeah. gonna use less media sources to, as fillers for the paper, uh -huh. but gonna use actual academic, academic. sources. Mm -hmm. So, really trying to enforce kind of an more of like a intellectual side of the movement because the interest is already there, like. Um, I got an email yesterday from somebody from a think tank, like, and he wants to write about, he wants to write, and I actually, this might actually keys in with the caucus, because he wants to interview people from um, the LBGTQ community. Sorry, correct me if I got that abbreviation wrong. No, that's good. <laughs> um, so it's within the movement. So it's 
interesting. People are already starting to create their own theories, and that's where this is getting so interesting because um, not only are people just talking with the immediate, you know, feelings on social utilities, but you're going to have a lot more students um, in these larger universities and institutions referencing them and authors writing about us within books. And mm -hmm. if we can get people thinking about how Richmond is different on a theoretical platform from the rest of the country or with the rest of the country, then, I mean, we're going to be further ingrained into um, mm -hmm. the everyday you, rhetoric. What examples would you say is mm -hmm. different? What, what aspects would you say is different about Richmond? Um, the aspects that I think that are different, um, I think well, personally, because I mean, I lived in New York for so long, like, and I think New York is is all that really like symbolic. Like everybody had an ambition, everybody was putting forward their message, and everybody had this other personal identity. Whereas I feel like Richmond is so like interconnected, and everybody really, really cares about one another, um, and it's really no. there's a really a really humanistic element to the Richmond Occupy. It's really, really cool. Plus, we've been able to overcome certain challenges that other movements that are similar have not been able to. Like, we were invited onto private property. Um, Denver, who had a very similar issue, and Tulsa, who had a very similar issue, were not invited to private property. That's, we're the only ones who've been able to do that, as I recall. I mean, Atlanta is as well. They're, they're, they occupy the home where somebody was about to be foreclosed. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But still, we're, we're at a high percentage, percentile oh, yeah. on that. Plus, we're smaller. Nonetheless. Yeah. That's such a cool idea, by the way. That is a great like, idea. I love that. Idea. And remember, like I was just talking to a friend of mine from Lawrence, Kansas. Like their yeah. occupation completely fell apart. Like it's no longer there. Right. Mm -hmm. Like that happens. It happens more than you know. Cause because probably when I, when 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 I started Lawrence, Kansas. Is it group discord? Oh, I'm sorry, interrupting you. No, no, no. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. is, is it, was it because of group discord? I only got certain details, but apparently. There was strife within the group, mm. yeah. and I think there was a rape at some point. Oh, mm. Yep, that's a good Yeah, I started putting together a Twitter list when I started with okay. Occupy, mm -hmm. and went back a, like probably two weeks ago, because I was going to give it to somebody. Actually, somebody from my class was doing a paper on uh, and, uh, and I was like, you know, if I was going to just give it to him and be like, if you follow these, this will give you a good general overview. And half of them, yeah. just like there was, the, you know, like they just don't exist anymore. Well, They're gone. One of my favorite artists, Jerry Chicago, she, um, she did this really cool thing where she opened up uh, her website as an, as an educational forum where it's really kind of self-seeking and whatever. But it's, if you write a paper about her, submit it to her website. I mean, it's brilliant. It's called Through the Flower. It's awesome. Um, and she actually, when I went to visit her like, at an artist residen residency, and I was like just gushing about how much I loved her, I had written a 20 page paper about her in college. And she's like, submit it to my website. So I like looked at it. I was like, holy crap, this person has created this archive of people talking about her to continue this idea of an academic forum of feminist writing and women's art. There's no reason why we can't do that. I mean, we can put out an open call or entry for, for local VCU students, um, you, you know, University of Richmond, who, if they're writing papers that are about that, about us, or include us in it, and that they're sensitive to us academically, mm -hmm. we should feel open and warm to that. So I think it's creating a policy or a new infrastructural element to that because. Um, I, I had not been, did not even think about that until these emails came into my inbox. So this sounds, it, it almost sounds like this is really kind of an outreach thing. But maybe what we could do to not just completely punt, mm -hmm. we can get this started and then hand it off to outreach. We should be like, here's a resource for you. You guys change this as you see fit. But we're going to start directing people to you because yeah. if you're okay with that, because yeah. it seems like it's more your wheelhouse than ours. Yeah. And Nate, too, because, you know, we're working on that together. Okay. So you already started this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. So somebody's bought mine. Yep. All right. What else did we do? 
facts and questions on websites to help interface with interviewer. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, I have one more question about Facebook, mm -hmm. even though it might be one or two topics back. Has there been any um, problem with any of the movements around of people flooding their Facebook pages in order to try to sabotage their efforts? And it, it seems to me that it would be possible to do that because all you have to do is like find a lot of people to like it. The only thing that I know of, I mean, yeah, it's definitely possible if you had an organized enough group to do it. The only thing that I've heard of along those lines at all was San Diego or San Francisco. At one point, like a couple, like I'm, oh God, I can't even tell. Time is so weird now. Um, a while ago, at least a couple of weeks ago, Anonymous had sent out um, videos to a bunch of different Occupy groups asking them to post them. And they were basically saying, you know, to the police, if you keep abusing protesters, we're going to find out who you are and we're going to publish your identities and we're going to, we're going to make it hard for you, essentially. And they put it up on their Facebook and then it got taken there were so many complaints about it and how, you know, that it was a threat to the police and all that kind of stuff, that it got taken down. And then the Anons took over their Facebook page for a few hours. And that's the only thing that I've heard related to that at all. Took over San Diego's Facebook page? Yes. Took over their Facebook page for a few hours. And is the, are the Anons, are they an affinity group for? Anonymous is a, a activist collective. Essentially, it's really, I guess, probably the best way you can. And it actually is quite anonymous, I take it. Yeah, four chan with a conscience, basically. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> yeah, it's four chan with a conscience. Yeah. Was it San Diego? Uh, it was either San Diego or San Francisco. I can't remember exactly. Um, but I, I, I saw the video, and then went back like a couple hours later to go look at the page, and I was like, "What's going on?" And that's when I realized I was like, "Oh." They took over the page, <laughs> like they they hacked it and took it over. So, and it was just kind of a like, you know, don't 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 bend. Essentially, they were just sending them a message. So, yeah. But that's the only thing that I've heard of as far as Facebook pages being flooded or or hacked or anything like that from any other groups. So just coming up with some new revolutionary way of using Facebook as a tool. Just coming up with something that Facebook, nobody on Facebook's ever done before. No, he was just asking about whether or not the, the Facebook pages have been flooded, like, basically been repropagated, essentially. Yeah, but somebody wants to, like, you know, sabotage the ability of an occupation group to carry on their business through Facebook by just flooding it with, you know, post after post after post. Yeah, and if, yeah. One could actually do it not, you know, yeah. camouflaging it as looking like legitimate public interest activities, too. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that's really important, though, is for us, we have the Occupy Richmond section and the Everyone section so that people can see what's actually coming from. Right. The way, the way that, well, that's the way the One page works, because the... The community page that we use to post all of our events and all that kind of stuff, there's actually two separate feeds. There's the feed that shows just the things that we post. And then there's a feed that shows everyone, which is everything that everybody else posts on there, along with what we post. So in order to do that, they'd essentially have to, have to hack us. Mm -hmm. Which is not, you know, yeah, you know, not impossible. But I, mean, I for one didn't know that you, you could just look at the official ones, and there are probably lots of other people See, in the movement that don't know that too. See, this Stay. is a problem too that we really Stay. like. We haven't figured Stay. out how to address. Which one are you yeah. looking at? When you see the icon, you know, when the um, <clears throat> when you look at the page, the icon, the picture, <clears throat> what is it? Is it the the red. logo with the steps, or is it the red, white, and blue lettering? All I know is it's the one with the colorful tints. That's the website. That's the oh no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Hold on. I mean, I go to Occupy. I, I guess I type in Occupy Richmond has a betting field. Eight, nine, nine, nine thousand likes. I think. Yeah, that's a pyramid. Is it that? It's, what comes up when I type in Occupy? Why, why are there two pages? Oh, they 
changed it. Now um, they're the same. Because shit. basically, there's a they created a person page. Yeah, so um, you can so tag that, them. <laughs> so that the person page could create the event. Um, the event. Uh, or the uh, the um. See, there's these the organization changes. page. I call it person profile. Um, that way, the person profile can create the hit the. The page. Oh, God, the same the same page. Oh, that shit. way, it's, yeah. it's never one an issue of someone owning one that like page or being able to track back to one. Do you want that? That could be the person that created the Occupy Richmond. Um, we should be able to differ. Certain things that a person profile can do that a page can't, and that allows us to do both. The have the beauty of both worlds. Okay. Unfortunately, it gets it gets very confusing. Yeah, I realize I tagged one. The wrong one one time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, Facebook just, they're so, it, they, they don't understand yeah, the, the way to use their own their own software, their own you know, We're website. Not for that, yeah. yeah. That they don't, they don't understand how cumbersome a lot of that stuff is. I don't understand why people like to use Facebook so much, but nevertheless, you gotta go with their own right? Um, as far as, what was the, what was the, what the agenda as far as, uh, Hold on. Uh, oh, media work group budget needed within two weeks. For what purpose? Well, there's the financial, finance group now who really had created. Can actually do a budget? Yeah, they've created a PayPal, what it's called. Mm. We pay. We pay. And, um. Yeah, creating a budget proposal so that it's for every worker. Are they actually getting donations from that link? Last the check was $40. No, it's up to late. It's gone up. I'm not yeah. sure what is happening. Well, it is going up. So well, I think it's I think it's a responsibility for media. For at least once a week, we kind of remind people that it exists. Um, particularly on Friday when they get paychecks. Um, <laughs> just saying, hey guys, a dollar or two mm -hmm. goes a long way. Just, Oh, wow. Donate button. 740 now. Are you shitting? Oh, 140. I think it's oh. 700. Uh, I, I thought that's what you said, too. <laughs> wow. wow. Like, Word. Yeah. Forget about that. We don't need to remind anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my job. <laughs> when I went to <laughs> Wall Street Occupy back on <laughs> the after Halloween, there was a financial that came up, and they brought somebody up from finance because they didn't know if they had enough money to spend $8,000 to register a domain name. And they said, well, we have $426,000 in our bank account. Wow. Wall Street? Yeah. And yeah. that was on and that was before they were gonna get this very useful domain name, which would probably greatly increase. Mm -hmm. So Well, I think we can try to do get some money from them. <laughs> we should. Really, um, I mean it should they, be for real. I mean they offered to give other occupations money because they had like too much of tax fraud or something. They, like, they, like, they like, sent fifteen grand to Oakland for new tents when they got evicted. Oh, shit. Shit. Buy a lot I of think they have to. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? Oh, I'll tell you what, we lost $8,000 worth of stuff at Kanawa. So, yeah. it's, I mean... It, it, it rings up fast. Yeah. yeah. This it, sounds it, like a pledge. I mean, it sounds like a possible <clears throat> a possible letter for fiscal support. That we, we can, can put out. Uh, we, should, uh, we should definitely use that avenue if this is still available. Um, but we should definitely have a very I have no shame in asking for money. <laughs> we should have a very specific use for it if we're going to ask for Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we have, um, we're all broke. <laughs> and um, there's, we're constantly ragging up legal fees. We have no money for uh, food. We're entirely dependent on the meager donations that we're getting right. at camp for food. I mean, Camps hey, meals and so hard. <laughs> and and, and we're, 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 we're we're essentially dumpster diving for our Nothing stuff, which <laughs> which is is working we so far. But website, though, I legal. mean, yeah, well, I already took care <laughs> of that. Um, <laughs> but I mean, we we should be. We, I would like to see some financial things, and there's things that are going to come up that we're not aware of right now that we're going to need that money for. Um, so, but then also the actual backbone of the actual budget proposal, which is a very different thing. It's asking for a certain amount of money for specific needs, you know, in a kind of, um, I mean. Well, as far as media right? is concerned, we need, we need more, we need to buy some flip cams again. Um, yeah. Because those things I'm not, I think we've all agreed or have vanished. Um, okay, so how much are flip cams? 
Um, Man, I really wish I could account to Yara for what happened to those. I feel horrible for that. How many did we have originally? Had like six, right? Yara brought us like six. Somebody else brought a couple. So like eight? We had eight, like eight. Yeah. We had a bunch. And there are how much each? I'm looking right now. I'm looking at one that's eight gigs. For hundred and fifty dollars, but I don't think it's the same brand. Yeah, actually, yeah, it is a flip game. Yeah, so I'm, looking at, I'm looking at. I'm looking at. So, so let's just uh, can we do like eighty or ninety? About. I'm looking so at. You can get four, a four gig for uh, forty five dollars. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. So four gig for forty five each. Actually, that's refurbished. Sorry. Which, I mean, hey, if they're selling refurbished ones, by all means. So $45 each. Yeah, between 45 and 65 45 and 65 Let's go with 50 50 times 8 400 Yeah, these are the ones. He brought a couple of these silver ones and a couple of these black ones. Mm -hmm. um, so we're at $400. What else do we need for media? Uh, money to print flyers and stickers. I just got, I ordered more stickers, but, um... And how much was that, Ira, if you could put um, that I, there was a sale, so I got a thousand for twenty bucks, so we won't need this for a while. Um, but that's the sort of, like, usually I spend, like, twenty or thirty dollars printing out flyers. Or and how, whatever. how often do you do that? Um, whenever it's a major event, um, so probably, like, once a month. Um, it's not that expensive, but I do think we need to put some money in the budget like, mm -hmm. for that because I don't have to. No, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> and then how about, like, we've been having a lot of meetings and we're, we get food each time. Like, I mean, it's awesome. Like, I feel like we, like, we've really, like, rely on each other for that. But, I mean, maybe we should put some money aside for, like, meeting spaces or, or is that just on everybody individually? I. What do you think? I don't know how I feel about that, just because we do have a kitchen, and I feel like they sh should, like, if we're going to ask for money, we should go to the kitchen first, and I, yeah. I don't know, I feel Yeah, so that's something that, that uh, I mean, you know, like, if we're, if, you know, we're getting together, I don't mind, I have absolutely, I don't mind at all contributing, you know, some money to make sure that we can have, like, pizza, and, like, that's, so it's on us. that's a little different, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just, like, putting it out Because if I wasn't here, I'd be... You know, I'd be home either. You know what I mean? Like, so. Yeah, no, I know. Um, so flip cams, flyers, stickers for print. Um, anything else? That I can think of right now. Did we get a modem for the... Oh, speaking of, yeah. um, we do have a modem and a router. And apparently the old modem um, is... Yeah, it's come back to life. Um, <laughs> really? And at least this is what BJ said. I haven't had the time to really investigate this, but he says all we need is the login information for the account, the Clearwire account. Maybe it got wiped. The Clearwire account got shut off. Well, it's a completely different um, router. I don't know. I mean, so Wait a minute. Are you talking about the modem? The original modem. The original modem, the big white one, is. No, no, no. Oh, that's a router. That's a router. That's different. The no, modem oh, is sorry, the black yeah, one. Right. The, the, the modem mm -hmm. is, is, a, is the brand new, is the new one that was just donated. Oh, okay. The, the, um, the router, mm -hmm. the big white router, has managed to come back to life, uh, according to BJ. I see. What saying. He, he says that we just need a new login for the modem. Yeah, somebody needs to reset it. And yeah, and I don't know anything about that, so okay. I, put, I put my hands up that. I, I need to go get my tent anyway, so I'm going to go back to the camp. Some point in there. So, um, are we asking for about five hundred? I will say though, the way they they're keeping camp right now, the six people that are kind of staying there, I'm not even hesitant to set up the internet there. I went by their media tent today, and it was pretty much knocked down, and they just didn't even bother picking it up. They just threw a sheet of plastic over the table to keep the electronics from getting wet. Oh. So, and they were keeping they kept the uh, booster, which oh, by the way we have a booster now. It was out in the rain. So, um, has it, and if they already got it wet once, being neglectful, I'm really hesitant to have that out there again. Like that. Gotta get off the boat properly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the people. I mean, ask about that. The people that are at camp right now are just I'm sorry to say, alone in death, but they're not responsible enough to keep control of that camp. But we have a modem and we have a route here for the next occupation. Yes, right. and we all so that's we covered the base. Yeah, right. and I have everything you hand me in that bag. I still have my tent. I even set that stuff up. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, so we have, uh, and if that's true, what he says about the router coming back to life, then we have two routers theoretically. If, if that, which, and I don't even know why the uh, the original modem di didn't work because it didn't even get wet. I don't even know why it's not working at all. But it. <laughs> That's look at me. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. I'm just. It's I just that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I just turned it on. And it didn't even. It didn't, the green lights didn't even. Yeah. It, it just stayed green. Up there. I know. I was like, oh, why? And the <laughs> Ethernet wasn't working either. Like, there was yeah. no connection. Like, you didn't recognize that it was connected by Something. Ethernet. I mean, Something it might have got. It might have just gotten a little bit wet yeah. in the wrong place. If that's, yeah. I mean, and that's entirely plausible. But I, when I picked up the. I think it just shorted out. When I picked when I picked up the modem. I mean, it water I mean, I mean the, the router water drew, like, poured out of it, whereas the the, uh, the modem it felt dry all around. So, so budget about four hundred and thirty. Um, let's round off about five. I put five. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, you might have brought this up already, Ira. But does that include like flyering or yeah. like brochure stuff? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, um, I put 30, but let's put down, like, I mean, 50. Yeah, that's safer. I mean, I really just, like, print what I can, and that's why you guys don't see a lot of it, because it's, I'm getting a small amount. 50 is cool. probably safer. Yeah. And then maybe on the proposal as well, we can also mention what we get, what we get uh, donated, just, you know, we're always open to donations, not just buying new flip cans, but if there are ones that are used that more people want to donate, then we're open to that as well. I mean, I would... I mean, in my, the way it makes sense to me is I would like to speak to, like, have a financial group meeting with a representative from each working group to really discuss how funds are being allocated. Because right now they're going into one account, and there's no real, um, you know, oversight as far as to who's getting what money for, for all the reasons. some finance won't even admit they're in finance. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm gonna make you guys armbands, and they're like, No, don't do that. At the same time, though, I think Dave. <laughs> <laughs> this occupier carries less than fifty dollars in cash. <laughs> 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 I know, I know, I just have a shirt. I carry. <laughs> well, yeah, it's so true. It's true because like every worker wants like a certain amount of money, right? And they also have these overarching GA needs for like. I, I like, was thinking lawyer costs and legal funds and shit like that. I was thinking perhaps a percentage, um, a percentage structure I where, yeah, like, media gets 10% of the, of the donations, uh, food gets 25% of the donations, and however you want to distribute it. Um, but I, I don't see why that would be a problem. Really? As long as you keep a certain percentage to just general fund. Um, for, for or the, you know, the shifts and giggles. How we get the money flowing? You know. It's yeah, that's why. We, that way we can we can constantly we can count on there being a certain amount of money allocated towards us at any given time, and it's fair to everyone else that we're not getting a larger share than we're supposed to. My my only thought about that <clears throat> is that we're going to have to make sure that we account for that money. Which I I mean, we can get. I think they can. Uh, you can trust me. Well, well I, I don't know. We have to be able to provide receipts, you know what I mean? We just have to be able to say this is exactly I've, what I've it's going I've constantly pushed the, the gift card idea where mm -hmm. you can get it, you you can have a gift card, uh, you can take the money out of the account, put it on a gift card, give it to one of us. All of our transactions will be kept on record through that gift card. Um, and, and I mean, it, it, it's not like it's not like we're pocketing the twenty cents and, and change. It's still all there. It's all accounted for to the penny. Um, without actually having somebody carry around cash, because mm -hmm. I mean, someone's handed me twenty dollars before for a donation, and when I pulled out my pulled the money out of my pockets, I had uh, twenty seven dollars, and I'm sitting like, what, what did they give me twenty five or twenty? And I didn't know what was mine anymore, you know. So. Um, I mean, it, I think we should try to
be. You, I think. That, uh, yeah, most credit card companies way. do like, um, like pre create credit cards now or whatever. Right. So like it's. it's I would be interested in if there's any, cards. Um, if there's any credit union uh, equivalents to that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd hate to use Visa mm -hmm. or Mastercard or any of that. I think that's kind of hypocritical of us. Um, well, it's not. It's not. I mean, it's just a prepaid card, so it's just money on a card. It's not. They still. It, Visa's still getting something. Yeah. Well, a lot of times they have like really uh, punitive fees yeah, and stuff do. like that. Because you got to pay an activation fee <coughs> at That's the very that. least. Transaction so, charge. Their names on right. it, they're getting some. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not going to do it for free, just out of the goodness of yeah, their hearts. Um, no, I've been asking you to occupy this, card. This whole move your money thing <laughs> You're is. You're a financial no. clearinghouse network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. The whole move your money idea is, uh, I'm not new to that. <laughs> I started by here in the US. As many it's different scary. kinds of <laughs> alternative. I mean, are, you know, measures as possible. Do you know of any like um, credit union alternatives or? or I don't know about credit. credit union. Even you credit know, union okay. uses Visa. But I have a credit union debit card, and it's still Visa. Yeah, yeah same. I, it's the same with me, but. Um, well, Visa. <laughs> <laughs> Visa is almost like Agreed. is almost itself like a credit union. Because it's not, it's Visa is not a company. It's all of these companies have decided that they work together for this specific purpose, essentially. Interesting. So, which is why <laughs> so it's more everybody like accepts Visa, um, and why like Mastercard and the rest of them are are different. So. So it's more of a conglomerate than, yeah. than a corporation. Yeah. Interesting. It's, I didn't it's know that. different than. Than American Express or that's or why. Okay, I've always wondered why Visa is on everything. <laughs> it, it makes sense now. It's like, damn, they got some good deals going on somehow. Um, well, um, that was everything on our agenda. Yeah. See how we just blew through all that. Well, but, oh, we I mean, skipped we, the messaging. Yeah. And what about the, <laughs> there are website improvements and. Well, Josh isn't here to speak to whatever was going on with the Facebook updates. Um, yeah. Actually, I can tell you what he said about that. Um, there's a lot of people posting a lot. Um, we we counted like seven posts in like a, the course of a couple hours, which is fine. But like, it's a lot of it was not that important, and I I worry and he worries that it's gonna push stuff that's important down. Also, we're still doing a lot of um. We're, we're not uh, using grammar and punctuation and stuff like that like we should be. I think that's probably uh, one person yeah, that's not here. That's a certain person. Yeah, so, us. I mean, we just need to like keep talking to that person. And, and I discovered and why, too. Because it's being posted through a cell phone and not a computer. Oh, okay. And when you're typing into a, typing a, a Facebook message using a Blackberry, you're Probably not going to have the proper, the proper punctuation yeah, I think and capitalization. Mostly he, he just wanted to say, like, we need to sound as official as possible, um, and Dave. we need to not post, like, constantly. Like, <laughs> at least, like, post once an hour, don't post, like, seven times an hour. Yeah, and I, that's what I, I, that's, I, I mentioned that last yeah. meeting that we, yeah. we should try to limit the most, the, the posts we make to a, to at least as minimal as possible so that it doesn't, we don't drown out ourselves because um, I, I see I've had streams on my page on my personal page of organizations that I've liked that I've blocked from my wall even though I'm totally interested I totally get what they're going for I'm just tired of seeing them every right. 20 minutes <laughs> you know I don't I, I lose I don't care and I feel like a lot of that's happening with us because we're blowing up them up with you know with, with Facebook six posts not about, Twitter yeah you know, the same it was six posts about the same thing right. um, which I'm t entirely guilty of doing, but um, just because I don't know of any other way to get the message out. Twitter. Really, I hate Twitter. <laughs> you feel that it's that <laughs> necessary to repost it that many times? Do it mm -hmm. to Twitter. They don't care. Well, I've never used Twitter ever, but I mean that's I will definitely start using that more often. To, for that purpose, because I I, I want to steer away from you, from re blowing up. Okay, so that last night, um, 
I posted the thing that said it's not too late to come out and show your support. Mm -hmm. Like something like that where it was posted before the event and then I posted the event again and said it's not too late, you can still come. Mm -hmm. Was that like an issue? No. Um, I think that was, I was going to do it myself. That's specifically <laughs> to like, that's present, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the people right now has... Like the, listen to this post. Okay, so this Sunday's GA will be had at, held at the Friends Meeting House at 5 p.m. We are thankful for this space. We are working on new places as well. Um, like, it, it just has a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's really long, um, and that the post before that says, uh, we're fairly sure that the Friends Meeting House will be our GA place this Sunday again. Like, and then before that, like, there's other things posted, like, oh, here's something, and here's something, and I don't even know what half of it is, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at it now, I'm just like. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that that was anyone here, but I think if we all bring it to the individuals that are. You guys it, look at it. You guys look at Facebook so completely good. I mean, so um, completely yeah. differently. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm all for I love posts that are this long because that means all your information is going into one post, but the average Facebook viewer is not going to sit there right. and read all that crap. It can be more concise. Yep. Yeah. That's why using Twitter is good. It will teach you how to be concise. <laughs> 140 characters <laughs> is merciless. <laughs> At least as a training. <laughs> that's why. That's why I, th I love the. If we could try use Twitter as the as the oh shit oh shit this happening is happening type thing. Facebook as the come out today you know come out tomorrow and then the website is you know on Friday there's this happening right or yesterday this happened. Um, and that's what I've always viewed, even before Occupy, I've always viewed Facebooks and Twitters as, as, a, as a difference of time frame, not as for anything else. Oh, yes. Are we just about done? Yeah, I'm drawing. I'm checked out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all just want to save the messaging discussion to next week, or? I think we actually hashed out some stuff on that, and mm -hmm. there's there's more to do, but like I feel like a lot of the issues that it was originally addressing have sort of like, they're watering the bridge now. The only thing I'd want any kind of clarification on is if we do get an email from an outside media source, um, if it's going to a Gmail account, you know, for our, you know, for us, media, G yeah. it's going to Gmail media, but it's also going to like individuals. Like, how are we, you know, how are we setting that priority as to who should be tackling that correspondence and who shouldn't be? Um, my understanding is that Rich is going to make us a list of contacts, and then we're, that's on us to start going through that list. But he's at least going to bubble it up to our attention. So if we get the list, then we just break it up evenly with some people who are willing to write emails back, or to who's most appropriate. Can um, we get that list by like the next meeting? I mean, yeah. I have full confidence in the people that do speak to the media as of now that are sending the right message. I, I haven't seen anybody that, like, God, I could get them away from that reporter. I no, mean, no, this is not about, okay, I'm sorry. It's not about on confidence. It's not about, it's not about, it's not about not being confident. It's about prioritizing. It's about process, yeah. Yeah. structure. It's about process and prioritizing who we respond to first, or who oh, okay. who are we, how are we responding to that person immediately within the twenty four hours? For example, that watch, you know, the guy from D.C. He wanted, he want he he wanted something in his own time frame. He's like, can I get an interview with some one of you on Tuesday, which is today? I sent him an email and I said. Um, you know, I'm going to bring this information to the media work group meeting Tuesday night and discuss this further with the group. But that didn't happen, right? So it, it's okay. Like, it was handled today. I understand, you know. But I, ha I don't think there's any issue with waiting a bit until we have all the information clear and the statement clear. Either that or if it's something that you find and you're like, wow, we should really probably talk to this person right away. 
Just send it through the, you know the Google, the group email that sends out the, mm -hmm. the mass emails to everybody? Mm -hmm. If you forward it to that, mm -hmm. then everybody gets it. And it seems like when that's happened in the past, somebody has been like, oh, okay, I'll do that. And then they just do it and it's done. Okay, so this is policy number one. When then something comes through, we send it to everyone, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, for example, if there's emails right now in the Gmail account, everybody should have that email in the work group. So if it isn't to everybody, we should make sure it is. Yeah, you're on it, right? Come you on. get the Google group. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. right, I know I was on it. Let me make sure that I, I, that I know how to. I don't I'm think not I really in this group yet, although I'm waiting towards wanting to join. But that's another issue. I've never, no. I've never used it, so yeah, I'm on. I might need a little. Maybe I'll join. Maybe, yeah. maybe I will. Maybe. <laughs> I know Alex and Josh were both on it. Which Google group? Okay, so I see, I see here. The wiki. With, no, no, no. no. Oh, all I'm right, not so on. right here, this is this is the all the people out you would email. We'll remedy that. Okay. We need to. Let me see okay. what. Is that so the these, group? Are, these are the members. Those are the members of the group. Apparently. We need to pare that group down. Because half of those Who's people... Who's John That's what I'm saying. And I've gotten responses back from people that I'm like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I've never seen you at a meeting, media meeting. And you're like... like You're being a condescending douchebag. Like <laughs> Connie, so. uh, Kathy... Uh, I mean, Katie Bonner. I haven't seen her since yeah. the first since three the days. First yeah, meeting. we need to pare um, that down. Josh Lerm. Josh, Joshua Sullivan. Yeah, we need to pair that down. Earl Lane. <laughs> David. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, these are joined October 11th. <laughs> so, in our messaging policy, we are, as we talked about before, we are distinguishing between a messaging policy for emails and the messaging policy for Twitter or social Facebook. Media. It's social media, thank you, because they are two different animals. Yes. Alright, um, okay. right, so let me, just so I can better understand the, the Google, uh, the Google Groups, because again, I've never used it before. I, I, I'm in, I enter into Google Groups, where do I go to say if I want to send them that mass email? You You're just, getting it you in your email. Start yeah. a new discussion. Where? Go to your email, your personal email. So let's look. That one I sent to you specifically. Media request Occupy Jeremy right here. That's coming <laughs> from <laughs> Jeremy. Oh no. That's from the media team. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Go back. There, it is. there's. That's one for the group. group. That's it. <laughs> Okay. That's the, if you send it to that address from your email, it'll go out to everybody. Which address? So you don't have to. So I emailed that, the rich, Occupy Richmond dash media at Google Groups com, and that goes everybody. Everybody. Good to know. Wait. I will, um, so, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. You know. I'll send you, uh, <laughs> well, you have to get an invite. You gotta get an invite to the group. Uh, no, yeah, I'll get invite to the group. I'm gonna write down the policy. Make sure your email gets out to everyone by starting a discussion on the Google group, or just just wait. send the e just forward it to the to the Google group email address. Uh, yeah. The Occupy Richmond Media at googlegroups.com. Right. I don't even see myself in that. At googlegroups.com. I didn't see myself in this group list. Is there another? So we have so many members in there that there's more than one page? Oh, it is. Wow. Well, let's... We need to do something about that. Six, ten. <laughs> so the there e I am. So messaging policy. We make sure the email gets out to everyone by forwarding the email to OccupyRichmond-Media at GoogleGroups.com. That ensures that everyone knows we're on the same page, and that way we don't have to wait for a media meeting to bring up emails of importance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's happened in the past where people have just forwarded it to that and one of us is like, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. And we call or we whatever and it's done. Yeah. So. Who's D. Pisilia? Um, she just had back surgery. Okay, because she's, she's just sent four um, 
emails to the uh, print email address, which, by the way, y'all know there's a print email address been established, right? Y'all have the password. Oh, I didn't know that. This is, um, it's the same password as I, yeah, iPyRichmond.print, um, and it's the same password as the other iPyRichmond media. Um, Hi. It's, it's on the uh, wiki. How you doing, sir? Um, it's for the, for the password page. Um, so it shouldn't be an issue. Just keep an eye on that. Let me know. And if that happened to have said, respond to the person, let me know that there's a op-ed that's been posted in there if you happen to see it. Um, and I'll, I'll is, tackle all that. Is Jeanette Nelson a real person? As she posts a lot on Facebook. Oh. Jeanette Nelson. Uh, Anybody? What is, what is her? She I'm, posts a shit ton I recognize the pictures that they had there. Yeah. She's a cat. <laughs> yeah, but she posts a shit ton of, I mean, good stuff, but just a lot. And it usually, a lot of it ends up in the hidden posts. I'm, su I'm surprised. I haven't seen a lot of uh, okay. our old familiar trolls lately. Can we just show back the list yeah, of really happened. good I'm worried about them. I, I like, hope they're okay. So we have, <laughs> make sure email gets out to everyone by forward the email to occupy me. Not Google that. Anyway, I'm sorry, I keep saying these to rehash it. Two, start a discussion because what if, for example, a particular email is uh, for a national agenda? We got to start thinking about, like, I mean, we can't just be sending out generic emails. So when we when we say to someone directly, "Hey, can you handle this email? Does this person in our group understand the context of the me of this particular media group that we're writing to?" Like, for example, I don't think I could tackle this argument about tax auditing or auditing because, I mean, I personally don't know the lingo, but somebody else in this group does. But I should be getting it, I should be sending an email to somebody who has a question about, you know, the cultural implications or my personal values in this movement. I mean, I mean, I don't think you're wrong with it. You know, like, say you get a response, like, for today, that, like, that email address, that email that was sent to me that I responded to was addressed to me. It said, William, and then it, I was like, okay, so this person wants to hear from me specifically, and that's why, and then I was kind of confused by that, so I called that number to find out why she wanted to hear from me specifically. Oh, you mean the DC one? Yes. I mean, it was sent to me, too. Well, it was addressed to me. It said, William, it's like, I don't know, she might personalize it for me, but... Um, that's, that's what I was talking. I mean, that's what I was talking about. It was sent to me like yesterday. Yeah, and I and I didn't know that was what you would, because um, when you called me, I hadn't seen the email what you were talking about yet, and then I got the new one that morning. Either way. Well, beyond that um, point, it's just that like, you know, it's um, I would have had rather see that email right now in the hands of us tonight talking about okay. it because. Stop on my shoe. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a moderate conservative paper that politicians read in D.C. Like, that's the audience. Like, the fact is, is that the article's out now. That's and the last audience we should be worried about, though. Well, we still want, we still want to be careful on what we're... Who's so that's the last about. audience we should be worried about, though. No, we, we should still be mindful. I'm not, I'm not if nothing worried. else, you could like clip it and show it to other people. Though it's like it has a certain cachet. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of. I read the article. So. He already okay. gave it to us. Okay. I, I mean, I can send it all. I'll send it all to you tonight. Now that I know the policy. Yeah, she sent me the. I read it myself. I mean, yeah. It, it's. I mean, I it's pretty fair. So the article is about. Um, it's actually, it's, it's not unsympathetic, which I was very worried about because he was obviously looking for a loophole and he wanted to see the tax dollars were being put towards Occupy and not to the Tea Party. Luckily for us, it was framed in a pretty fair way and he also made mention that we were able to move on to private property and to Mr. Boone's property, which is a key thing because he's obviously solidified that that's something unique about the Richmond Occupy movement. Um, I just want us to think more strategically going forward. That's all. Because ultimately we can get, gain more control of the public discourse if we think about each email as they come in. Is this email from a VC professor? Okay, who's going to handle the VC professor? Is this email from a DC paper? Okay, who's going to be able to handle that? Okay, is this media source a nobody that we don't care about or is it somebody we care about? We need to start thinking about that. That's all I care about. Because I really want to see this 
I want to see us come off a little more sophisticated. Okay. Um, I, I definitely think local media is should be top priority. Um, simply because we're mostly worried about people here. Those are the people that we want to con communicate with the most. Those are the those, that's our pool in which to communicate to. Um, I think, and those are the ones that we should tackle immediately because they they usually have deadlines that come in up in about two hours. You know, if we don't get that message out or at least respond immediately, you know, then there's, it's not even come back to them tomorrow. So can we get a feel for that? Does everybody agree that we should make local media a top priority uh, in returning emails or phone calls and because of their immediate requirements? Are we yeah. okay with that? Okay, so that's, so priority one in that discussion of agenda <coughs> is local media. And that includes news stations or news interviews. Yes. Also, and I know this gets hard. I know it gets complicated because we have so much else going on, right? I mean, plus we have, like you said, like bubbles and happening on Facebook where there's too much information happening at once or whatever. But I, hopefully that's what comes out of this discussion is just like, so that's good. And then, the, then what's second? Your secondary national um, state? I, I would think... Uh... <laughs> I mean, other the other ones we don't get so many of them. We can really that we have to. I feel like we have to. They're like special cases. Yeah, I feel like they, I feel like we get the national ones, even if they're predominant papers. They come so few in between, few and far between that we can kind of group them all together between blogs, um, big and small, um, online publications, yeah. big and small. No. Which, what are you doing? No. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> oh Worst behavior today. My cat too. I don't know why I'm doing this. He's excited. Are you kidding me? Occupied. Little pizza coil. Animals are really curious. And I know that they're more rare. Does. Maybe that's, you like pizza. I mean, the point is, is that we're getting national headline. I mean, right? We, got, we aren't uh, ignoring them when they alternate that I know of. What was the moderate hey, conservative what? newspaper? Yeah. Did yeah. alternate ever reach out to us? Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to alternate. Oh, okay. Yeah, they put us on a, a top three list or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure how much primary reporting they did. They did an article about the raid. <sighs> of course they did. That was our movie's spotlight. Um, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Yay, we're pressed. I mean, we, we're not we're not we're not doing anything right now that would that would require no, that would warrant a national news Maybe to, Washington to come. We we've already occupied we all the, 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 the <laughs> mayor's next door neighbor. That was a story for about a couple of days. Now even the local media couldn't care less about that. So is our job to construct events that are newsworthy, or for the um, news to choose what they think is newsworthy? We haven't worthy. had a, an event that we have really needed to put a news uh, press release. I have noticed that our press releases are effective in getting the news to pay attention, come out and see that. Every time I put a press release out for an event that's about to happen, mm -hmm. they show up. Um, and so I think those are refreshing, but I haven't had anything to tell them to come see. We're going to push the tent. The tent is our next day. Yes. Event, so everybody yeah. push the tent. I'm just waiting for the final for the finalization of that idea. And yeah. I, I have everything that they've decided on, well, most of the stuff they've decided on doing written down. Like, Where is this going to happen? Um, there's some of it that they're not. They're meeting on buses. Yeah, there's some of it that we're not, they're not putting out ahead of time, right? No, um, they have a I think pretty much everything is going out ahead of time for the 10th. Um, oh, really? They're thinking yeah. about planning maybe another event for the 3rd that we don't want to, um, that, that we don't want to mention on film, um, <laughs> because it may have a high risk of event. Is that what it is? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, I know, no, I don't, I'm not saying that you're that you, what you're saying is backwards. Yeah. I'm just saying that it's like they want to really push for the tent, but maybe they can pull something off that's happening on the third. Right. Like, if you want to do something on the third, you got five days <laughs> <don't know>. to start. <laughs> yeah. what? Third I is. I don't know though. I don't. Know. Yeah, like I actually well legitimately well. Like, don't know what's happening. On the um, second yeah. is also yeah. the second forum preparation at ECU. 
Wow. The second of For October. Real? Yeah, which nobody oh, yeah, is. December. No one What's up? Uh, you know the education forum they had at VCU. Yeah. On the second this week, they're holding. The professors are holding another meeting to. They want to facilitate a second it's one. Even, it's not even an event yet on Facebook. Yeah. Well, okay. Well. Um, uh, it's uh, just. There you go. It's just a planning meeting. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to that. Oh, cool. Okay. That's cool. different. That, yeah, yeah, you scared me there. Caucus, so. um, okay. That's yeah. great. Well, yeah. We need to... Well, uh, it's not a big deal quite yet. They're still planning on when it's going to be. Yeah. At VCU, right? The VCU um, forum? Yeah. They're not sure whether it's going to be at VCU yet or not. Wait, is this the one that um, Professor are doing? Yeah, Liz Canfield, Mark yeah. Wood. Okay, yeah. I'm trying. <clears throat> yeah, so it's... um. But, I mean, still, it's probably going to happen soon. Um, they were actually planning on December 10th. Oh, really? But now they think they're going to do it some other time because December 10th is actually graduation <coughs> date. Mm. So that's going to, like, mess yeah, up. Yeah, that's just, like, conflicts. Yeah, yeah. but that, that whole the statewide week... statewide solidarity day? Yeah. 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 And it's also but Human Rights, rights Day. day. It's, it's the so it's of action. Um, and that sense. whole week before, to VCU to graduate, <laughs> that whole week before, I'm doing workshops with Vivian students, like at VCU. Yeah. So she wants it to be like, What's like them preparing be? for What's the day of action. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that's great. There's gonna be people there. There are going to be people. Hey, uh, Rumble office. Oh shit, it's two hours ago. Never mind. Um, but Santa has posted on Facebook. Uh, speaking of tonight, Glenn Beck, on. Glenn Beck TV is talking about the Richmond Tea Party and Occupy Richmond cage match. Oh my party. God. Going on right now, and he just you think he couldn't get even more. Of Let's Trump have a does. boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is like a public event. wrestling of wrestling. And you know what? <laughs> because because people, oh my dude, that'd be awesome. Uh, Let's get this freshly uh, stuff yeah. on. Tea Party versus yeah. Richard, like, like they dress up and like walk in place. They want us to wrestle with them. Yeah. No, we should dress in the big sumo suits and just like sit on each other. Yeah, I mean, we could probably get some like liberal commentators to really like, make a plucky comic thing about uh, it. Someone call Keith okay. Olbermann and get Glenn back down here, have them sit next no, to each I'm other. I'm and oh, and then I'm get two really referees. Serious. We could have somebody dress up as a mayor. <laughs> referee. It's like, look at these guys, we got them together. Like, the fight of the century for you to distract you from all the problems we're creating. I'm pretty sure we both end up hitting the mayor. <laughs> Shall we serve tea at this so, event? <laughs> it's just like in WWE. Effort. They take out the referee and then yeah, like exactly. go and then go like hit him the with the chair. CU thing. They actually call themselves the Chai Party. Really? Yes. Yeah. The professors. <laughs> referee didn't say nothing. The Chai um, Party. Yeah, the Chai Party. Uh, I like that. <laughs> um, I posted a quick paragraph for Woo-hoo! like uh, just a quick thing. I need someone to build it up. <laughs> And add some comedy because I think a, a press release with comedy in this situation would be pretty comedy awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think the press re- the press release should specifically address the fact that like this is a media created issue. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. If we have a wrestling event, we can bring the media there for it and be like, "Look, guys, this is obviously a joke. Oh, this We're wrestling. Oh each other, my god, you know? this needs to happen." The tea party can wear like a tricorn you know hat. I, I think, and, then, I think and we can wear like some really like heady clothes. I've, I've, I'm all about <laughs> ignoring the whole the, the tea party issue. I've, I've, I've been so adamant about just saying I don't care about it because it has nothing to do with us. But now they're tr- they're the media is forcing this. Yeah. That's that's what they've started doing in the beginning. That's why we should have gotten in front of this. I, and, and I said that in the media tent. I, re- I remember. Now. <laughs> I remember. And I and I disagree with you then. But now I'm like, all right, fine, we'll talk about it. I just yeah. don't want to see the story give it any more kick, and I'm afraid that almost we're anything gonna, we're using to give it more kick. Well, no, that's we're exactly dealing with it now by beating somebody up. Like, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a public <laughs> fight. No, we we feel like if somebody asks, it's going to address it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, it's such a joke. Like, nobody can possibly take yeah. this seriously in sumo suits. Nobody yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, it's just a bunch of people, like, bumping big bellies. Like. But then when the news comes we're to watch this big it. fight, we're going to have... Maybe, maybe we should, should do like that. Maybe we protest. should just I issue a press release that just completely makes fun of the media. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah, then it's yeah. just like, we're going to show up in sumo suits yeah. to meet with the Tea Party <laughs> so that we can have it out. <laughs> So wait, 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 wait. Stay cool. Sorry. So they can have it out, just like ever, just like you know, just the like the media wants the to see. Guys, so really epiphany. Look, like this. I mean, this media, this media thing that just that we're sending out is. I mean, we didn't even think about tactics. I mean, ultimately, do they want us to come back with some kind of intense statement about how serious we are about? I mean, I mean, or what is the best way? The to best get them to way shut to, the, fuck up? the best way to deal with it is to say, so we think that the city should have gone, given the Tea Party their money back. Ooh. We think that if they are being targeted by uh, the city for having criticize them, that is a terrible, terrible thing. And this is that trying to create any kind of dissension between the Tea Party and Occupy is a media event. Yeah. This is for the media. This is not and between the media. What he said. This is not between yeah. Occupy and the Tea Party. So we're going to give them a media event and we're going to put on some sumo suits and show up and wrestle and you guys can come down and video it and put it on your newscast. So we're actually making and the Tea Party so bad at honoring. We should just like, make fun of them. No, sure. seriously, okay. we should just make fun of the media. Just yes. make fun of them. I mean, I'm, uh, and I'm all for the. I'm all for anything that involves a good mind fuck. But what? what I'm concerned about is the, is the facts behind it. The Tea Party. I'm not I mean, saying I, we say they're definitely being targeted. I'm saying we say if. What? If is is fine. It's just by if the city. But if well, here's yes, the thing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> one, I think one reason that we're responding the way we are is because it's very late, and we're more <laughs> act to like appreciate the giddiness of a certain cheeky response. Um, earlier, the response seemed to be a little more sober and serious. I am concerned that whatever press release, whatever tone we want our press release to be. It's going to be shaped by the media, and they're still looking to make it like that kind of an issue. I want something really milk toast. We are with the Tea Party on this. We do not have an issue with them on this. But that, let's if, like if they do very low key. Let's let it die. If they want something like this, then we give the Tea Party milk toast, and we give and we point the finger at the media. We well, even this is your the media is like that's more turmoil. That's more sure, like, and, and I don't. Wrong. I want something that's like totally. We are asleep on this, you know. <laughs> We're not having a fight dangerous. at all. Yeah. What do you think the danger is? That it gives more kick to a Occupy versus Tea Party issue. How? Um, we actually. This might be a little off topic, but um, we're actually electing. Representatives to Go talk meet to the with the Tea Party soon, like in the next week. Well, so that should be the story that we're that we're not and that we're not in antagonizing. We're we're trying to right, and I think but maybe it, not them because middle, they might they might perspective wise they might frame it as we have condolences with the Tea Party, um, and we sympathize and empathize with them being audited and being um, in a way we're kind of. I think in a way the media wants us to be shown in solidarity with the Tea Party because we are, like them, we are an oppositional, subcultural, political group in opposition to society as a whole. No fucking way. We're presenting a better solution to society. Okay. So therefore, I think we need to go with that, with the first um, angle that was presented. I think we need to start attacking people. Not, not, not harshly, but I think we need to start... We, we agree on putting a shit list together. I mean... I yeah, I mean, the, the, this is a media event. It was put together, essentially, to create press. So, okay, we'll turn it around on We can turn it around on them and use it as press for us. But we just have to use it correctly. And we have to say, this is, you people created this. You're the ones who want to see this. So... And then if we want to back it up, maybe, with what we just said, well, like, and we are going to meet with the Tea Party about right. our own issues that exactly. we have with them. But don't tell us what, what the issues are that we have with them. I mean, and I see. I'm I'm worried that by taking their side on an issue that I adamantly believe, in regards to the ten thousand dollars, I adamantly believe 
that the city was in the right for taking it. Not that it, that the fees were justified, but they were, they were in place before the Tea Party wanted to do the things that they did for the reason. I'm all right. Well, that's like they, here's the thing. They when they wanted, I talked to the um, the to the uh, special events coordinator at the um, Department of Parks and Rec. He said that had the Tea Party done exactly what we did, marched in the Canal Plaza, spoke you know without you know, any amplification, or they wouldn't have been charged a time. But they wanted a stage. They wanted vending booths so they could sell shit. They wanted food carts. They wanted bathrooms. They wanted um, police protection. They want all these little amenities, and that's where the fees came in. Not the, not being there. Being there was free. It's the amenities that they wanted, that they specified, and they asked the city to give them permits for, that they paid for. We didn't ask for any of that. So you buy, you're comparing apples to oranges when you're comparing what we did to what the Tea Party did. And by saying we totally think they should get their money back, is is agreeing that they were doing exactly what we did, and that's not the case. Okay, uh, so we could we could amend our statement to say we think they should get back any money that was solely for paid for them to exercise their free speech rights, which is zero. Okay, that's fine. But the bigger problem is that we also well, I don't know how you feel about this, but I do not like the city going after any political group with an audit. At, with the timing like this. Like, and it doesn't look good. I agree. They have the power to use their discretion to not do that, and they chose to do it. That I, sends a message. I absolutely okay. agree, but, I mean, and, and again, to counter that, they're, they're not the only ones being audited right now. There's 700 other businesses being audited. The Richmond Tea Party, you can say what they want, and, like, yeah, in a way they are kind of a business, but in a way they yeah. also aren't a business. They file tax forms. They they They... File for, um, they have an established organization that it has a tax code. You know, right, and how much money do you think they take in? A shit ton. That, that's I. My understanding is that that's not true. In Richmond, they, it's not much. They no. they take in they take in money at certain particular events, but other than that, no. and that's what that's what they said. That's what they said in their press release. They were like, they're like, you know, we just. We're just, we're not going to respond to this. We're just going to keep following the same forms because we're not bringing money in. Okay. I mean, I, I, I... Besides, like, don't... I'll just, I'll just share with you how I approach this. Like, okay. who cares? Like, the bottom line is that the city is trying to use, trying to triangulate us. Right. And we should just throw it back in their face. I'm, Say, I'm all you for... thought we were going to do your dirty work and, like, be yeah. your... I, I mean, I'm not... I, oh, yeah. I have I want to um, who's the bigger threat here I want to extend my hand to the Tea Party under certain conditions that they don't try to think that we all that we're all a bunch of right wing it, it's people. one it's one thing it's one thing to extend yourself to the Tea Party and have friendly overtures and it's totally another thing to take a magnanimous principal position mm -hmm. we don't have to we don't have to give the Tea Party shit we can simply say we think the Tea Party are a bunch of assholes, but like they have the right to political speech without the threat of audits when they speak up. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's and that's and I agree. But the media is never going to see it that way. No matter how we frame our argument, it doesn't matter. They're going to see us together, it. and they're going to and they're going to so frame it. Sick as, of trying doesn't... to chase these goddamn. We're not, we're not there to change their perception. We're there to feed them information no, to project exactly. and I, I our agree. view. I agree. And it's not about this particular possible. interaction. is not about the media. But what what my mom and dad keep calling me about is, is ask me why we're doing all these things that they hear about on the news. And they can get the information from me. Very well. They get inside information from me about what's going on. Yet they're still look, paying attention to the news and finding in their information through the TV. And this is my own parents. I can imagine what the average person sitting on their couch, have no connection to Occupy Richmond also whatsoever, sitting there watching Channel 6 and going, they're joining forces with the Tea Party? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I absolutely want nothing okay. to do with them now. So let's think about, um, let's just think about, okay, let's think about the three things I pose, right? One, a little bit more constructive, more clear-headed. Another one, maybe a little bit more antagonistic or a little bit more pushy, more pressure. What are the possible uh, 
outcomes of that of that motive. What are the outcomes? I think I mean, that's, 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 this is for everybody to answer. I mean, personally, I think one they could possibly say, "Oh, wow, for a, you know, all of a sudden, the Occupy is a little aggressive," and they might put they might highlight that. Then somebody else is going to read that, and they're going to think, "Huh, maybe Occupy has a certain type of backbone against these people." I mean, that's a possible outcome. There are many possible outcomes because we do not know how they're going to spin what we say. Right. But the fact is, is that if we don't start taking bold choices and risks, little risks, we we will never know. I mean, I didn't, uh, again, I'm not against the concept that we're going here. It's how to go about <clears> it that, <throat> I'm, that I'm I'm worried about. Again, I, I I still want. I mean, I think we're all on the same page. It's just I'm reading the different part of the, that page than y'all are, because I'm reading into the consequences as opposed to the benefits. And I'm concerned that the consequences might, um, that the negative consequences might outweigh the positive benefits of doing a, uh, a possibly joint force. Not that I don't want it. I now it have to be something that's brought back to GS. I mean, we, we can, we can, yeah. And we stand to lose a lot. Of left, I, know, we, I know. We stand to lose a lot of left wing support. Um, and, this. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, this pushes a lot of buttons for me. I, <laughs> we stand to lose a lot of uh, of, of the superficial left wing right. that is more concerned with branding than they are with actual principles. Okay. But yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> like, but like that's why I feel like the best approach to this is not taking it seriously and staging a media event for the media that wants a staged event. I think like, that'd be amazing. That would be awesome. That would show that would give them something that's like, ha ha, human interest. I mean, and plus think about a lot of people who just watch the news and they're like, you know, people who I, I work with, like people our age, like, I mean younger, you know, like who who are just like I totally get it. Who are like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, who are like <laughs> occupy oh is that just the same thing as the tea party? No. And, 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 it's not. And, so what what can we do as like a mock right. event exactly. that helps open up? And the people that who dialogue. don't get it will at least not get the wrong message. <laughs> right. right. They're not going to get the message of oh they're in bed together. They're going to get the message. What the fuck is that about? I mean, what is this? <laughs> I mean, y'all think y'all think uh, just a, uh, I mean, all right. So let me get this straight. Y'all want to just have a kind of a mock. Event. <laughs> the meeting. Occupy <laughs> Richmond would like to extend an invitation to the Richmond Tea Party to partake in sumo wrestling. Can we can we discuss Canal, this with the Tea Party for this release? Yes, I think I think that's <laughs> I think that's important. But the other thing so, is, I need to challenge so, them without them knowing. I, can I, can I, can can I have already had Tea Party people, 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 people contact me on Twitter. Can I? Okay. Um, this could happen. Yeah. yeah can I'm sure. Can I? Uh, the <laughs> other side of this is that we already have. Uh, a group of people talking to the Tea Party. Yeah, we should send it with them. So we should probably... Um, <laughs> Bentley. Uh, we don't know yet. Bentley is... Bobby, a group of people they are going to? No, all right. No, they you already know, have. All right, you, they're, they're, they're the ones who are kind of setting up this forum. Uh, can, people are going to sit down and talk together. Can you turn that off just for a second? Sure. Yeah.